Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, you guys know the drill. If you guys please smash that like button, I'd really appreciate it. If it's a leave a comment down below, I don't care what it is, it super helps the channel out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the earth with my words. We're back in the shop. It's bright and early. Um, I want to show you guys a little bit of what we got going on here. We do have a 2015 Ford Focus. Now this car was sideswiped. This is a replacement front door. We were able to get a used door in the exact same color. So we saved ourselves on having to jam the door. The front fender obviously was a used panel as well. We did have to cut in the panel as well ahead of time. So the jam portion of the panel is already color matched. And uh, you can see here, we had a couple dings on the edge of the used door. And the rear door was written for repair from the insurance company. It had some pretty bad dents. And uh, same here with the dog leg of the quarter panel as well. So it was pretty much swiped and scraped from end to end. Um, we do have to repaint the jam section. So we're going to prep this thing out today. And we're going to completely get it all ready for paint. And then we'll go ahead and... Uh, prep just the jam section there we'll probably go ahead and paint this little door edge ahead of time and uh tomorrow we'll go ahead and get this thing blown off in the booth wrapped up and uh ready for paint and we'll go ahead and get it sprayed out um i did you can see here i have a couple different guide coat sections i did have to body work this rear door a couple of times the first time i know it's kind of hard to see but there is a body line that comes right here. Well, the first time I body worked it, my body line kind of disappeared. So unfortunately I had to open it back up for body work and go ahead and get it rebodied. And I went ahead and reprimed it yesterday and it came out awesome. So we'll go ahead and snap a nice line with some masking tape. We'll go ahead and prep this thing out on uh, with a long board with 220 and uh, get this thing prepped out and get it ready for paint today. You can see the front and rear bumpers are off as well. Those are over here. Now the scrapes portrayed onto the rear bumper, just barely, but insurance will pay to fix that. So we went ahead and did a supplement and uh, we got them to approve um, refinishing this rear bumper. Now we don't have to refinish the entire bumper. We just have to repair the corner, um, blend this corner, and we'll go ahead and re-clear coat the entire bumper. So these are already prepped, masked, and ready to go. The front bumper here, you can see here we have it halfway masked. Same thing, we had a little bit of a scrape. So we did a little bit of a repair. Primer, we fixed a few extra chips. So we'll go ahead and color out this corner and we'll go ahead and re-clear half. And we're gonna melt it right here in the center where the license plate hides it. And uh, we'll probably use this body line right here and uh, melt the clear as well. And uh, that way we just take care of the damage that was there. If we got into refinishing this entire bumper, there's rock chips, there's scratches, there's all sorts of other damage on this bumper. So where do you stop? Insurance is not gonna pay for previous damage. So we just do the best we can. And uh, we're gonna get this thing looking just as nice, if not nicer than it was before the accident. Over here, you can see the doors that came off the Ford Focus right here. You can see how crinkled up it is. It's still in the shop. I still got to pop off the door handle and some of the other um, pieces as well, like the mirror. There's the old fender. And we also have a Nissan 370Z. I'm just about to show you guys in the booth. There is the door, super smashed. And there is the fender, way caved in. There's definitely no saving that, guys. So let's jump in the spray booth and show you guys that. And guys, this week is a crazy week. Teo and I have been busy. It's Wednesday already. And between Teo and I, we've already pretty much got two side swipes, um, pretty much ready for paint. As you can see here, we have the 370Z door, fender. And we already had this cut in. So you can see there, the back side of the door is already refinished black. Teo's already got the regulator, the window, the speaker, all that stuff already in place. And uh, we had a little tiny ding right there and a little scratch. So we just threw a little bit of primer on the ding. We're going to go ahead and color this thing out completely. The entire side, we got a good color match. We went ahead and adjusted our hood as well. Um, but yeah, this thing is looking 
great, guys. Um, customer's gonna be super happy with this. We also have a couple fenders here that we refinished as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get these unhung. Obviously, I can't paint this car with these fenders, so we're gonna take these down. Uh, Taylor's gonna go ahead and address any color sanding and machine buffing and polishing that we need to do, and we'll uh, get those ready for customer pickup. But anyways, uh, today, first things first, we're gonna get this thing masked up. We're gonna get it wiped down. We're gonna get the whole side repainted, and uh, we'll jump back out there. Taylor should have these fenders wrapped up and we'll go ahead and uh, probably tag team the Ford Focus and we'll start prepping that thing out for paint tomorrow. And uh, yeah, guys, it's gonna be a very busy day, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update and uh, and I will see you in about five, four, three, two, one. I think I did that right, but anyways, let's go. And boom, just like that, guys, we are back. It's bright and early. Let's show you guys what we got going on. You can see here, Teo and I were able to get the 2015 Ford Focus all prepped out, ready to go. You can see we have the front wheel off. Uh, we dropped that off with our tire guy. He's gonna mount and balance that today. We'll go pick it up. We'll probably end up having to put the spare tire on. That way we don't block the spray booth because we gotta get the 370Z out of the spray booth, but we will go uh, pick that up or we'll just throw the spare on for now and pick it up later. But it is getting mounted and balanced. Of course, we had to replace the front wheel because we did have damage on the front wheel. Insurance does pay for wheels and tire damage. Um, we got it all prepped out yesterday. Um, before we left, we went ahead and cut in this front edge. When the door is closed, you cannot get paint to this front edge. It will not blow in like you think it would. So you have to cut in the uh, door edge ahead of time. Um, the only other way around that is um, basically pull the door off and paint it all at once with the door off. Um, but I like to do all my assembly before final paint as much as possible. That way we don't have any uh, uh, room for air and chances that we'll scratch the car putting the door back on or anything like that but uh front door edge cut in looks great we got a great color match you can see here we do the spray out card at the same time and you can see here against the rear hatch we got a great color match of course we will not be putting color up here against this rear hatch we are blending the rear bumper corner as well as the front bumper corner so we will be pretty much refinishing this entire side of the vehicle and uh, into the front bumper, into the rear bumper. We're gonna stay off this pillar, so I'm gonna go ahead and mask that off. I don't want our new color right on that pillar up against the hood. We have a little bit of angle here that will help us plus the gap um, as far as the fender goes. So we will have a little bit of a butt match there against the hood, but there is a slightly different angle which will help create flop, and that angle will actually help uh, trick the mind into seeing one color. So we will be masking off this a pillar that way we don't get any color on there we'll unmask it before we clear coat um so it will be completely refinished but uh you will not see new color there but we'll have new color here but the angle will help create an illusion um that we'll see one color but everything's looking good guys we got good gaps on everything this car was actually hit harder than it looked but uh everything went back right in place we were able to rebody that Get our body line back i know you guys probably can't see much of that but you can see that line right there um we were able to get our body line back but uh this thing's uh blown off we'll probably do one more quick blow on this thing wipe it down and we'll go ahead and start uh masking this thing off for final paint and uh i'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, 370 out of the spray booth uh first thing i'm gonna get the front and rear bumper for the focus in the booth they're ready to go so i'll go ahead and spray those that way we're not crammed in the booth when I'm doing the side of the vehicle. So I'm going to spray the bumpers ahead of time. And in between coats, I'm going to pop out here. And we're going to go ahead and start masking this vehicle. And then this afternoon, I'll pull the bumpers out. They're on stands. So I'll roll right out. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this vehicle inside. We'll bag it, cut it out, tape it down, and uh, wipe it down, and uh, spray out the side. But guys, this thing's looking great. I'm excited to get this thing done, wrapped up, because we have got to get back to that Subaru, guys. Um, our customer is super patient. We've worked with them before. Um, there is more damage on that Subaru than it had intended. So I'm reaching out to Geico. We got to get a quarter panel for this thing. Um, that way we can get that thing repaired. We do got to set it up on the frame rack. Um, so I'm trying to get these two side swipe jobs done. I'm a little overwhelmed. So I appreciate you guys all rocking with us, hanging in there for the videos, the diecast videos in the shop videos. Um, it's very overwhelming to uh, have to work 
all these hours and then also try to do these videos but i appreciate you guys watching i do enjoy doing these videos and i'm happy to have all you guys rocking with us but anyways next week um we're gonna wrap up this uh focus within the first day or two and uh, we'll be setting this thing up on the frame rack and we'll be uh kicking butt trying to get this thing uh through so let's jump inside the spray booth and see what the 370z is looking like guys guys the 370z was looking spectacular it sprayed out amazing body work looks killer we got a new fender a replacement used door we had a, a scratch and a ding on the rear cork panel but uh this it, it looks solid black but it's actually got a little bit of flake in it it's a really nice color um but guys car sprayed out good paint laid out nice we will uh nib out a couple spots with a little 2000 we'll follow it up with a light 2500 grit wet sand and then a three three thousand grit wet sand and uh tail oil machine about this thing and get her looking good but first things first we'll get it unmasked we'll get it outside of the booth so i can get going on those bumpers um tail will go ahead and start assembling the door he'll put the door handle in he'll go ahead and finish putting the regulator in um we got the belt molding trim we got the interior door panel the rubber door seal and a uh we got a side marker we got front and front left and right hand wheel liners he's got to put the headlight in front bumper on so he has a little bit of assembly to go before he can get to the detailing but he'll assemble it and uh by this afternoon hopefully we'll be color sanding and uh buffing this thing um we do have to put the rocker panel on still um so hopefully all that fits we had that painted ahead of time so it's not in here we went ahead and fixed up the rocker panel and painted that all at once when we were cutting in the door and the fender ahead of time before this vehicle is even here um it's just a couple of screws and we'll toss the gas door on and uh guys this thing looks great she's going to be super happy when she gets this thing back she actually wants to do more work already uh, she's going to bring it back we're going to be tinting her tail lights and uh we're probably going to talk to her about potentially fixing her hood she's got a couple dents on her hood her headlights are in pretty rough shape um somebody's worked on this thing before and we got a pretty bad gap here and a little bit of paint damage on the edge of the fender so we're going to talk to her about maybe getting this fender repaired refinished as well as the hood um, possibly replaced but maybe we could repair it and uh her front bumper's got a little bit of damage so maybe we will refinish the hood the fender the bumper and go ahead and uh, maybe replace both of her headlights get this thing looking really good she also needs to get her spoiler painted looks like the paint has completely flaked off so it just looks like a satin black spoiler um but uh, we could probably refinish that and make that thing look really nice but she's got a really nice car in here it just needs a little bit of love to be brought back to life and uh, guys everything that i have come in this shop must and absolutely has to leave better than it was ever before it came into the shop so that is our number one rule we actually want our side to, to not match the rest of the vehicle we want our side to look better than the rest of the vehicle and uh, that's what i really love and that's what keeps the customers coming back guys um she's gonna be absolutely pumped when she gets this thing because this thing came out awesome um she's been driving around quite a while with a smashed in door and fender and uh, guys this thing looks amazing so there you have it guys let's jump outside the spray booth i'm excited it is uh, thursday right now um i'm a little worn out my knee hurts um this weekend is actually my birthday i'm turning 36 years old uh carmen planned a little get together um we're gonna have uh we're gonna go bowling have some dinner with some friends uh, where we live and uh it's gonna be a pretty good time so i'm looking forward to it and i'm gonna treat myself to uh taking home my 1995 honda civic i've had this car for 20 years guys i was 16 you can see the sun hitting the panel right there this thing just comes to life in the sun but uh i got this car when i was 16 years old it was completely stock it was solid black kind of beat up um single cam v-tech and uh guys this thing was nothing spectacular and uh guys this thing's gone through several changes over the years several engines transmissions turbo setups um, we actually converted it to right hand drive i did that back in 2011 believe it or not but uh there it is right hand drive and uh guys there's nothing wrong with this vehicle it uh i've completely restored this vehicle it's got new brakes new bearings new motor new transmission clutch flywheel we've gone through the engine with arp studded it we got gates racing timing belts all new gaskets water pumps new turbo radiators all new hoses axles 
Everything is brand new on this car. Obviously the paint has been redone. Um, I've actually painted this car three times in my life. Uh, originally I painted it black and then a year later I painted it this orange. And then about seven years later, I painted it this orange again. So uh, this has obviously been done a few years ago now at this point, but I don't really get this thing out and drive it often, which a lot of people wonder why I don't get it out. Well, I've had this car for, like I said, 20 years, guys. So it's not that I don't love it. It's just, I've kind of been there, done that. We're kind of excited to be moving on to other projects and other things like the Fast and Furious Jetta and uh, um, this cart car, the super car that we're building here. And, uh, God. So anyways, this is B16 Turbo. If you guys go back to some of my older videos, you can find some content on this car. Um, but um, now that I think about it, I think we are going to get a uh, good video on this car and actually introduce it to the channel and uh, really try to get some content at this point in my life and that car's life. Um, I'd like to just get some content out of it. But it is B16 Turbo, right-hand drive. And you can actually see here we have a wet nitrous system on there show you guys that and the interior is super clean guys everything about this car is super super clean but yet it's also super wild we got sunroof got all the jdm gauges the autometer gauges there we got the jdm sir steering wheel uh type r shift boot we got the center console armrest we have the optional audio console with the dvd screen we got switches we got the jdm climate control with the jdm clock of course everything's on this side of the vehicle went ahead and did the hood cut out black super dusty and the roof is black we have all fresh glass in the car um, from print pro tint uh and a better windshield so shout out to pro tint and a better windshield um, for hooking us up on the glass and the tint and you can see in here guys we have our 10 pound nitrous bottle it is 100 percent full um, we are still trying to finish up the nitrous install, the solenoids, everything's plumbed. We're actually tapped for fuel already, so there is already fuel pressure at the fuel solenoid. And uh, I had this nitrous system on my other Honda back in the day. Um, so I really just let the wire uh, in some relays and wire up the switches and we are set to go. It's just gonna be a mild wet shot just to make up for some of the turbo leg, which there's really not much of it, guys. The turbo spools up pretty darn quick and uh, yeah. Right now, this thing's probably sitting around 300 wheel horsepower, um, somewhere in that ballpark. We still need to do a little more tuning on the street, and I'd love to get this thing on a dyno. So at some point, we will get this thing out on the road for some more tuning. Uh, I'd like to say this year, and get this thing out for some good content. Uh, Jamie from Boosted Northwest will come through probably and hook us up with a good tune. And uh, it'd be kind of cool to make a fun little video on this thing and get this thing out and actually introduce this car and uh, because this car deserves it, guys. I've had this car for 20 years. Um, I will die with this car. It will never be for sale. Um, you could offer me as much money in the world and I will not give you this car. This car will rot in my backyard before I ever, ever sell it for any amount of money. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Carmen and I are gonna get out this weekend, do some die cast hunting. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that video. Like I said, it is my birthday Sunday, so in honor of my birthday, in honor of owning that car for 20 years now, I'm going to bring it home. We're going to get it washed up, get the dust off of it, and uh, make sure we check the oil, fluids, stuff like that. Take it home. I do know it's going to be raining this weekend, so I hope it clears up enough so we can do some good rippers on it. Have a good time. But anyways, if you guys can, for my birthday even, please click the thumbs up on this video. It does help the videos out, the channel out, and we appreciate you, all you guys watching. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. If you guys can, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Bronzo Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah They love me, you can't touch me, nah